Hey now, how's everybody doing? I have a USA 2018 L case. This is the code for USA packages. Right here you can see it's assortment L2593. L2593, international or worldwide packages have a different code. Let's go ahead and uh, crack it open. USA packages have, uh, or mainly English. Hey, I got a fly flying around. And uh, we'll have some extra information on the back of the package that the worldwide packages don't have. The worldwide packages, they have to put multiple languages so that they can be sold in multiple countries. So that takes up space and it does not allow Mattel to put that extra information on the worldwide packages. The uh, Super Treasure Hunt, it looks, it's in black, so it might be one of these two cars. It's the King Cuda. Here we have the Lamborghini Countach pace car. This was uh, brand new to the last case. And like I said, on the back of the package, we do get information about the car. Nice uh, new model, so it carries over into the L case. Very cool, Lamborghini Countach pace car. And the production code, uh, this was, uh, I don't see a stamp for the uh, when it was produced. Well, let's uh, hope that one of these are the Super and uh, neither one is the Super. The Super Treasure Hunt will have a TH right here. And since it's black, it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell the uh, special paint, but it'll have rubber tires. And uh, behind the model, uh, behind the car, it'll have a gold Circle Flame logo indicating a super treasure hunt. So as you can tell, this one, uh, no TH and uh, just regular tires. Look like open hole five spoke. Still a nice car. If you do find a super, congratulations. They're not in every case. As a matter of fact, they're seems like they're only in like a one out of every 15 to 20 cases. This is the common version of the King Cuda release. We have the Dodge Charger Daytona. Fiat 500. Fiat 500 is going to be a treasure hunt, super treasure hunt in an upcoming case. It's not going to be that color though. I believe it's orangish. There's Aristo Rat. Special feature on El Viento. El Viento, you know, you could raise and lower this to go through loops. I believe that's what they're going to say. Uh, well, you can do that and you can also take off the uh, canopy, it appears. I don't think I've opened one up yet. Oh well, yeah, you can see the little clip parts right there. It's where you just clip the canopy on and off. Very cool. If you want to suggest that for track time, maybe I'll use uh, El Viento for track time. 17.4 GT and the Lotus Esprit S1. Uh, it looks fantastic in red. And this Lotus, it was in the last case as well. Uh, really, really nice looking with the uh, black and gold presentation. Looking good. And it does have a license plate. HWC 1968. I see some racing cars from the HW50 race team series. And you have Fast Master. Two samples of Fast Master. You can see the 50 on the wheels. Celebrating the uh, 50th uh, anniversary of Hot Wheels. 50 years. Uh, yeah, I was collecting them as a kid myself. And here a uh, special feature on skull shaker when you roll it the guy's head bounces back and forth i forget what i was going to look at oh yeah new model so let's go ahead and check it out i like the packaging too it's uh you know the, the regular packaging is like this right it's kind of white yeah white well this one is kind of a uh, yellowish or beige and then they have that at the top for the uh 50th anniversary, challenging the limits since 1968. And let's take a look at the uh, text on the back, if you like. And let's move on. Turbot. It says special feature. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, the yellow part, the clear yellow part, lifts and closes like a hood. It's just the special feature for time of taxi. This door opens a little bit. And a Ventador Miura Homage. That's a uh, new release, but it, I don't believe it is a new casting. Uh, it just a, it's a special edition of this Lamborghini Aventador. 
LP700-4, and uh, in the weekend show we talked about this, to where this is a special release. Only 50 cars were made in this, uh, in this paint scheme. Only 50 cars, that's pretty limited. Here you have the 16 Honda Type R with busy moto graphics. Looking good. Mm, I don't remember if I found this in the multi-packs already or if it was the red version. Uh, I have forgotten. Baja Holler, fun model. I open this up, that uh, rear door pops open. There you go, zoom in. You can use that with your uh, GoPro Hero Session. That's what you can use. Put your little uh, GoPro on there, send it down the track or drive it around. And it works with the Session because it's a uh, cube shaped and that's what you can fit in. It just pops right in. Now, if you want to use another camera, you know, you can just use some uh, double sided tape, I'm sure, figure a way to put it on there. Or you can just use it. Some people might use it for a chassis to make custom cars for downhill racing. Add some lead to it, add some weight, some pennies if you want. Make it uh, have some races. There you have the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw 71 Porsche 911. Nice, uh, got a great graphic treatment. It does say Urban Outlaw up on the package. Here you have Bulletproof. And they changed this model a little bit. This model was co-molded to where it was like a two different types of plastic molded together. But now uh, they just it's just the base, the body, and the interior. It doesn't have that cool co-mold feature anymore. Got two samples of the 12 Ford Fiesta. Part of the Checkmate series. And there you have Quad Rod off-road uh, bike from Mattel. Another GoPro Zoom In. Rally Cat and Time Shifter. Uh, I really love those graphics. I don't know why. Let's see what else do we have here. Custom Ford Maverick. New for 2018, but it was actually a newer release. Earlier in the year, this is a recolor. But since it's the first model, first year it was released, and we're still in 2018, they get to put that new for 2018 on there. Corvette Grand Sport Roaster. This was the very first 50th anniversary car that I found. I found it in a multi-pack and uh, got to show those cool wheels. Uh, I, don't, they, I doubt that they're going to use those wheels next year, so it's not going to put the information on the back. I doubt they're going to use it next year because it's a 50th anniversary of wheels. And since this, this is still a new model this year, they do put the information. Even though it's a recolor, HW450F, Double Demon, High Beam, a second color. First one was reddish. Now you can suggest any of these models for track time. One or two suggestions, please. That's all. And then uh, I'm doing track time on my track time channel. And you have a chance for a shout out. And then uh, I am uh, coming up with ways to do newer cars. I'm a couple years behind on my track time. So I am coming up with uh, ways to uh, get uh, do track time with newer models. You have to wait. It's going to be a couple weeks before I get that ready. I have something going on this week, so I can't. This is second color. was out earlier this year. Exotic was new in the last case. I don't know how well I showed the uh, top. You know, I was editing the video and, uh, and whatnot, and put the cars away, and I was thinking, I don't even know if I really showed it that well. It has a very cool uh, see-through top, or what we call X-Racer. Mattel calls X-Racer. And the base code is uh, L13. Kind of hard to see right there. Produced the 13th week of 2018. And here we have 2015 Ford Mustang GT. You know, that's one thing I know for sure, last case. There was a, a lot of Mustangs and there was a lot of Fords. I only listed the uh, Mustangs in the description. But this graphic, uh, I really like it. Now sometimes you might not like a car, you, even fantasy models, maybe you don't like them. Yeah, I, I can appre appreciate the art that goes into it, whether, whether, it's, it, it, whether it's the design of the car or the color presentation. I can still appreciate it, whether I want to buy it for my collection or not. It's up to me. Here you have Audacious. It's the pawn in the Checkmate series. Audacious. And here you have Hollowback. That was, of course, from the Accelerators. And if you find this color, that's the basic treasure hunt for this case. 
Uh, basic treasure hunts are, you know, they're, they're almost in every case. They're in at least half the cases. But uh, that Circle Flame logo in green, right in the middle of your screen, uh, it's behind the model as well. But they put, uh, you found a treasure hunt, blah, blah, blah. But that text is not behind the Super. They only put the gold Circle Flame logo behind the car on the Super. For the basic treasure hunt, they put the Circle Flame logo on the car. And there'll be a silver Circle Flame logo behind the model. You can barely see it behind the car. But they also put text about the uh, treasure hunt. New for 2018, Cyber Speeder. Mm, I don't think this was new for this case. I'm, pre yeah, I'm pretty sure this has been out for a while already. Matter of fact, I'm not absolutely sure what the, uh, the new models are for this case. I think I, I pointed one out, right? That was the HW50. Uh, and yeah. No, not HW50. It was one of the 50th anniversary cars. This is a new model, um, 17 Pagani Waira Roadster. It was new last year. It was kind of like a pewter color, I believe. So now we have it in red. Here you have a Humvee. The Hummer's back from Mattel. Um, it might have been a color earlier this year. New for 2018. I've been seeing this in Target. 2016 BMW M2. Been seeing it at uh, in Walmart as well. Already picked up a couple, and I got a couple more from my case unboxing. Looks pretty good. Just red, uh, very uh, discreet uh, licensing license tampos in the back. Actually, it just has a, has a Hot Wheels flame logo, has brake lights and such, and headlights. There's your two tampo imprints: the front side and the back side. And here is track hammer. I'm going to look at that back in just a second. Track hammer. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the second color for this year. Mm. Well, I don't know about this year. It's, it's, been, it's, been, it's not a new model. It's been released before. And here you go, the information on the back of the package. This one right here, new model. Mm -hmm. New for 2018, but I don't remember if it was last in the last case or not. New for 2018, uh, hover and out, over, over and out. Now see, that's going to make it so confusing. You know I always say over for hover, and now they make it a phrase, over and out, that's a phrase, but hover is supposed to be pronounced hover, hover and out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I try. They make, but now they don't help and make it, they make it so confusing. Uh, I really like this vehicle, the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. I have picked this one up already. Yeah, they, you know, people like it. Some people like it. Some people don't. And so I've been able to find a few. So what I do is I look to see which ones have the best graphics. Because sometimes when they have the seams, the seam of the body, you have uh, like the door lines and stuff. But this one's actually pretty good. This one's pretty crisp. This square right here just has a little bit of paint that's not filled in. Does that matter if you're playing with your car? No, it doesn't matter if you're playing with your car at all. But I'm just saying, I've, I've found it to be fairly easy to find here in Southern California. And uh, if you want to wait for one with a nice paint, paint job, you can probably search. Here you have another one, HW50 Race Team. Now this bone shaker, this is a regular version. There is a super treasure hunt version of this. Uh, again, special color and rubber tires. If I don't get one in the case, I am going to buy one secondary. I definitely want to get that one. So, mm, but I'll wait. If the price is too high right now, I'll wait. I uh, love, love the color that they're using for these HW50 cars. You have a Rise and Climb. Mm, I think this was in the last case, new for 2018. Even though this is race team. Not going to say anything. It's not a new model. Rise and climb. Three, two, one. Next. Uh, more? Come on. Jeez. Let's move on. Volkswagen Beetle Pawn for the Checkmate series. Very happy that this is back. And I'm sure Amanda's going to want one for her slug bug collection. I found one at a Target, but uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if I found two and I offered one to Amanda or if I haven't let her know yet. I'm not sure. Beat all in uh, ir iridescent pink. Really, really like it. 
once again, you know, you might not like it, but when you look at the creativity and the artwork of the model itself, it's pretty cool. But uh, like I said, it's up to you. It's your money. Tesla Model X. Two samples. Mad props. Gee, wow. Surprising. It was three cases, four cases in a, row, in a row. Clear speeder. Fantastic track car. I like this one too, Nissan Fair Lady Z. I uh, really, really like this. And I'll be, this is a style of car tour. I'll buy every color. And it doesn't have anything to do with the JDM craze right now. When uh, when I was growing up, I used to hang out, out at a bowling alley. And somebody, one of the fellas had a um, 180Z or something like that. But really, really love the, the shape of the car. 18 Camaro SS. And Grabber Blue. That was in the last case. Alter Ego. Altered Ego. Oh, cool. New Batmobiles down there. 15 Mercedes AMG GT. I've seen this in the stores. Couldn't pass it up. Love this car. Really love the uh, curvature. Just very, it's very, to me, it's Jaguar-esque. But uh, that's just my experience. Tail lights, headlights. Love this car. I'll be buying multiples of every color they come out with. Well, I think I will. We'll see. Can't read into the future. Buns of steel. 2018 new model. Once again, the text on the back of the package. Now, buns of steel is okay, but I like the uh, I like street wiener a lot better. Uh, a lot better. But this is still fun, you know. One dollar toy cars. Have fun. Happy collecting. 32 Ford in green. Early times logo. Mock speeder. You know that's got to be a track car. New for 2018. Uh, not the first color though. But you don't, for track time, you don't know what kind of track I'm going to do. Like I did the topside boosters, and some of these track cars are too low. They don't uh, work. So they don't, the topside booster doesn't have enough grip to grab the car to propel it. So while some of these cars are uh, track stars like this, Actually, Clear Speeder did well, but like other other cars, like this one, uh, really flat. <laughs> the the boosters up, up here boost the top side, so when the car's so flat, the the booster doesn't get a chance to grab much of the car. So uh, this one would not work in that. Now I'm not saying I'm going to do a top side booster for that this, this track time, but uh, I'm just letting you know. Batman the Animated Series. This is definitely new model to this case. Pretty crazy design. New for 2018, and there's the Batman Animated Series logo on the top. Pretty cool. They both look the same. I don't see any differences. Five-spoke wheels. So we'll take a close-up on this one. Uh, pretty neat. Now, uh, they, they don't say anything about track compatibility. But uh, these long sides, regular boosters, it definitely... The regular boosters love these long sides. Gives gives the booster a lot of chance to just chuck this car forward. And here's the base. And does it say? It doesn't actually say the name on the base. It just has a trademark for DC Comics. FJV62. That right there, FJV62, is the, the that's the number for this model. And again, L13 for the base code. But as far as the uh, Batman the animated series, they don't put that on the base. What was the code? FJV62. Hey, look at that right there. FJV. So this first section here is the model. And in USA packages, L is the case, right? We already knew it was the uh, L case right there. Uh, I, have no, I have no idea what all these uh, other letters are for. Don't know. Don't care. To be honest, uh, I just collect the cars. I have people telling me, hey, show the, show the card art. My videos are long enough already. And besides, if you want to see card art, there's lots of ways to car see card art. Um, you know, <laughs> I, just, I just can't do it. Anyways, thanks for watching another case unboxing video. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.